Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be regarding the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How are they viewing you or this connection? What are their feelings towards you? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're going to look at all of that today for Capricorn. Spirit. Messages, guidance, please, for Capricorn Spirit. What does Capricorn need to know regarding love at this time? Oh, the Hermit came out. Virgo energy. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Someone's feeling very reflective, planning for the future as well. Spirit, regarding the person that Capricorn is thinking about or connecting with at this time, what do we need to know about their energy towards Capricorn? Let's start with how they view you, Capricorn. How is this person viewing Capricorn or this connection at this time, Spirit? How are they viewing this connection? King of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the King of Cups. Very loving, compassionate energy. I feel like something has already ended with this Ten of Swords, but I feel like this person still has feelings. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. I feel like this person was also very hurt by what happened or feels betrayed or they know that they've hurt you or betrayed you as well. Wow, Ace of Cups and the King of Pentacles. I feel like this person still cares about you, Capricorn. There's still emotions, feelings here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles. This could be you, that they just have a lot of feelings, respect, admiration for you despite this ending. Tell me about the King of Cups. What do we need to know about this King of Cups? Death, Scorpio energy. Something definitely ended between you and this person. There was an ending, a separation of some sort. And now I feel like your person's wondering about the future. What now? What could happen here? Would things be fixed? Can things be fixed with Capricorn? What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Capricorn? What are their feelings towards Capricorn? What are their feelings towards Capricorn? The moon, Pisces energy, confusion, doubts, fear. What are their feelings towards Capricorn? What are their feelings? Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. I feel like this person wants to break the silence. When I see the moon with the Knight of Swords, I instantly think of someone wanting to clear up any misunderstandings, open up, no longer think about something in secret or be stay quiet. And I think this is with the intention of a new beginning, a new start with this Ace of Wands. I feel like when it comes to this person's feelings, how they feel about you, I don't think they've been very open. Let's get some um, oracles here. What do we need to know about this person's energy towards Capricorn? What is this person's overall energy towards Capricorn? What is their overall energy towards Capricorn? What is their overall energy? Hidden motives. Someone's hiding their true motives. Deception, secrets, avoidance. Yeah, I feel like this person has hidden their real intentions from you. I'm not going to take all those. I'm gonna take, yeah, coming together. I feel like this person has hid from you that they want to come together with you, that they want to reunite, that they want to have some sort of destined meeting. I don't think they've been honest about this. Tied up is at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they feel stuck. Or maybe they're kind of held back because I'm thinking about the Eight of Swords here. Maybe they're held back due to fear. Let's get some ever afters. What is this person's overall energy towards Capricorn? The person that Capricorn is thinking about or connecting with. What's their overall energy towards Capricorn? What's their overall energy? 
ever after happy endings joy resolution yeah i feel like this person wants to fix things wants to have a resolution with you come together i think that there's a problem that needs to be fixed in this person's mind and i think it's whatever ended between you speed action movement with the magic carpet i think that they're thinking about what action to take here towards you but again i feel like this person's not being very upfront about this because we did remember the hermit did come up while i was shuffling and the hermit is very quiet very introspective they dig deep they seek answers but they're not very open they're reflecting they're planning for the future rendezvous at the bottom of the deck meeting get together reunion I feel like this person definitely has reunion in their like mind, like this coming together energy, wanting to come together, wanting to reunite, wanting to meet up perhaps. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Five of Cups. So maybe they wanna tell you about their regrets the mistakes they've made, regrets over the past. They might even talk to you about missing you, being disappointed. Because sometimes the Five of Cups could be that you are disappointed over something that you've lost, something that has gone wrong. I feel like this will be a very honest conversation. Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. I'm also getting that for some of you Capricorns out there, um, I think you maybe are not going to be I don't know, maybe you'll have a tough exterior or are just hard to approach. Or at least this person is thinking that because this is their feelings towards you. Tell me about the moon. Spirit, why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? There's the hermit, exactly. The moon and the hermit. Silence, planning in secret, doubts, fears what's not clear, what's not very like, I don't know, this is like things that are kind of um, kept away from someone else. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. I think that your person hasn't admitted how they feel or they haven't admitted to you that they still love you. It's like they still love you, but they can't really admit it. It's <laughs> kind of what it looks like here. What is this person's genuine intentions? towards Capricorn. What are their genuine intentions towards Capricorn? Okay, we have the Ace of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Very clear energy. This person wants to talk to you. This is the third Ace that we get as well, which is all about new starts, new beginnings. The genuine intention, I feel, is to start small with the Page of Pentacles as well make you a small offer like i don't feel like this person wants to overwhelm you tell me about this ace of swords why is the ace of swords here yeah working together three of pentacles let's work things out let's build let's communicate I don't see anything fishy about their intentions, despite the fact that Hidden Motives is here. I was kind of worried about that. Um, I just think that this person is just being very um, guarded about the truth of what they feel. It, it's like they can't admit it to you. Maybe they're scared to let you know how they feel for whatever reason. This card keeps wanting to like come out of this deck. What's this? Walking away, departure journey movement. So someone could have walked away because there's definitely an ending that has taken place here with uh, the Ten of Swords and the Death card. So what do they wish they could tell you? Because they clearly have something to tell you. What does this person wish they could tell Capricorn? What message do they have for Capricorn at this time, Spirit? What do they wish they could tell Capricorn? The Sun. I feel like they just want to be the opposite of the Moon open bright radiant you know um expressive what do they wish they could tell capricorn 
What do they wish they could tell Capricorn? Eight of Pentacles. Again, I feel like this person wants to work things out. What do they wish they could tell Capricorn? What do they wish they could tell Capricorn? Four of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. This person is afraid. I really feel like this person is afraid that you will not be open to what they want. Or it's almost like they're afraid of how you will take this. I get this energy of someone who's like... I don't know. It's almost like in their mind it's easier to keep it to myself because then I don't have to deal with the potential consequences. Because once it's out there, it's really out there. You know, this could be somebody that's afraid of rejection, but I feel like it's more complex. Like, they're, they're not just afraid of rejection. It's almost like they're afraid of saying something that they can't take back. It's not just when I say this, Capricorn can reject me or could reject me or might, you know, whatever. It's also like once Capricorn is aware of this, they're going to know about this for good, right? Like I won't be able to keep this to myself. I won't be able to take it back. I won't be able to pretend I didn't say it or I didn't feel these things. It's almost like there is a um, intimidation here. Tell me about this Four of Cups. Tell me about this Four of Cups, Spirit. Why is the Four of Cups here? Yeah, Three of Swords and the Lovers. This person is afraid of being hurt. There's a Two of Cups. Uh, Gemini energy with the Lovers. Very strong soulmate energy here. Um, I feel like the difference here, Capricorn, uh, I, the reason I don't think this person will stay quiet is because I feel like in their mind, this is a very special connection. This is a soulmate connection. Maybe there's no one else like you. Maybe they've tried to replace you, but they can't. Maybe you're unforgettable. Let's see. What else do we need to know about what's in this person's heart space? What are they genuinely thinking or feeling about Capricorn? What do they wish they could tell Capricorn? What do they wish they could tell Capricorn? What do they wish they could tell Capricorn? Thinking of you? Okay, so this person's clearly thinking about you, about this connection. What else? What do they wish they could tell Capricorn? What are they genuinely thinking or feeling when it comes to Capricorn? I pretend that I am okay, but inside I am hurting. Definitely. This person, they've kept quiet about this pain. They've maybe internalized it. They've hidden this from you. And it's almost like maybe you don't expect this from this person because they've been able to wear a mask. Or perhaps you're just not, you know, they're pretending that everything is fine. So in your mind, you're like, okay, well, that person's doing just fine without me. And then when it comes time to actually, like, get to the truth of what's going on, you realize that this person is not doing well. That they've just been pretending. They're still holding on. You're still holding on. Yeah. This person is still holding on. You will always be in my heart at the bottom of the deck. I don't know what you did to this person, Capricorn, but they have not been able to let you go, let this connection go. In their mind, this is a soulmate connection. This is like once in a lifetime type of thing. Um, I, they're just more afraid of being hurt than anything, I feel. It's easier to pretend than it is to admit the truth. That's really what's going on here. But I feel like in their intentions, their genuine intentions is to reveal this to you. You know, what do they wish they could tell you? I wish I could be completely open with Capricorn about what I truly feel. That's what they wish they could do. And I feel like that's their intention for, you know, because how else can this really come together? How else can they reunite with you, meet up with you? How else can they fix whatever issue this is if they don't talk to you, if they don't tell you what's really going on? So I'm going to take this to the extended because now I'm very curious to know what this person's next moves towards you will be. I think it's communication. I feel like 
we're just gonna get confirmation about that. But I wanna know, and I also wanna know if there are any challenges or obstacles blocking this person from moving forward and what advice Spirit has for that. And then generally, I wanna also know where all of this is headed next for your connection as a whole. So if you'd like to know more Capricorn, check out the Extendeds. They're a little bit shorter, but they still have a lot of information and they're more affordable now. So they'll, they're linked down in the description box. Um, if you're interested in any of the Oracle decks that I use today, they're all my own decks and I sell them on Etsy. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it resonated for you. If it did, don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, like the video before you leave and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you on another video very soon. Take care.